if tan is equal to negative 2 over 3 and sin theta is positive. Okay, guys, did you know that from that information there, you need to know that that is on the cost diagram and it's a triangle. Now, where would the triangle be? Don't worry, it's very easy. I'll show you. They're saying that tan is something negative. Okay, so we know that tan from the cost diagram, we know that tan is positive here and here. So where is tan negative? Well, tan will then be negative in those two quadrants. Okay, so we still now don't know whether we need to do our diagram in here or in here. The next piece of information though says that sin is a bigger than zero. So it means sin is a positive. So we know sin is positive here and here. And so there we can see that this quadrant satisfies both conditions. And so we're now gonna go draw a triangle like that. Okay, and now we know that we're gonna use this angle. Technically, when they draw these things, theta is this angle on the outside, but you can just imagine that it's this part over here when you are constructing your triangle. Now, tan, we know is from sin cos Sokotoa. We know that tan is the opposite. So I'm gonna put a two over there and over the adjacent, I'm gonna put a three over there. Where does the negative come from? Good question. It's over here because we know that this is a negative x. The two is positive because that's a positive y. And what we would now do is we would go use Pythagoras to find this missing side over here. And so you could just say, uh, let's call that r. You could say r squared is equal to three squared plus two squared. You don't have to put the negative. We're just looking at lengths for when we're calculating the hypotenuse like that. And that's gonna give us nine plus four, which is 13. So r is gonna be the square root of 13. And so we can just put square root 13. This value is always gonna be positive, no matter which quadrant you're in. Okay, now we're gonna go find the, so the, the we're gonna go answer their question. They wanna know what is cos theta multiplied by sin theta. So what is cos theta? Well, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's gonna be adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then we're gonna multiply that by sin theta, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, and so I'm gonna multiply top times top, which is minus six. Bottom times bottom is actually just gonna give you 13. And so that is your answer.